Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Everybody got coffee? Yep. Yeah. Excellent. Um, all right, I'm Greg. Uh, I'm one of the co-organizers with One Million Cups. And um, we've been thinking about doing something around the ecosystem for a while. Uh, this is kind of the reason we did a One Million Cups to begin with, just to create some connections, the welcome mat, all that good stuff. Uh, so I, I thought I'd have a little bit of fun and give you all a not-so-definitive guide on the ecosystem here in Colombia because the cool part about hopefully what we're going to talk about is outside of a couple of things that have been around for a while but, but are, that are now reinvented, none of this stuff was even here five years ago. So it's kind of cool. So One Million Cups presents the not-so-definitive guide. All right, so instead of just listing off a bunch of resources, you've got sort of a, something we put together. It's unofficial. Um, feel free to share it, add to it if we've missed anything. It's just a collection of stuff that we've put together over our years of doing this stuff. Uh, but we thought we'd take a different approach and kind of talk about the startup process and then what's out there that can help a company or an individual get off the ground. So I thought we'd have a little bit of fun with it. Um, so from our perception and for the purposes of this presentation, here's our process, right? Discovery, right? You, you, you figure out a problem that you want to go tackle or you hear about an idea or see a technology or something that you think is interesting. Uh, probably the next best thing is to start talking about it and then find some other suckers that want to get involved with you. Um, doing a startup is a very lonely thing without a team. Uh, after that, you, got, you probably have to have some, some level of a plan, whether it's a business plan or a business model or something. You need to go talk to people and you need to get an idea of what, how you want to launch this concept and take it to market. Um, and, and we like to think big, so go for world domination, right, Aaron? Um, next, you probably want to validate that idea a little bit, that concept. It may even be a little bit more off the ground. Uh, and, and so before you spend a bunch of money or spend a bunch of time, you probably need to start engaging the enemy, talking to customers and talking to, to other entrepreneurs about whether your ideas, as we say, can pass the red face test or not. Uh, getting closer to the end, you, you want to build and launch something, right? Uh, and and the, the Lean Startup talks about building and validating as you go along. We're big supporters of that. But at the end of the day, you have to make something to sell something, whether it's a product or a service or something, you know, software as a service or something online. And then somewhere along the way, you probably need to find some cash for this thing. Uh, and that's why Bill Kirkland's here today. He's got a boatload of money that he's waiting to invest in early stage companies. Jerry's money. Oh, yes, that's right, Jerry's money. Somebody else's. So, all right, so how's that sound? So far, so good? Okay. All right, so we got some cool stuff going on here in Columbia that, that uh, when, you're, when you're looking to discover what your idea is, what your thing is that you're going to grab onto, uh, a couple of groups that you need to be connected to. One is the, the Midlands Inventors Association. Is anybody here that's a member of that? Who's David? Okay, we got a couple here. Uh, they meet once a month. What day? Last Th Thursday. The last Thursday of the month. Fourth Tuesday. Oh, they Four change years. it. Fourth Tuesday of the month over at the incubator. Uh, it's a great group. Again, it's a group of inventors. They're tinkering. They're building stuff. They're they're experimenting. If you're looking, if you're entrepreneurial and you're looking to grab hold of an idea, there may be an inventor in the region that is looking to partner up with somebody that wants to take something to market. Um, I don't know why we have the University of South Carolina Aiken up there, um, but that's supposed to be University of South Carolina uh, Tech Commercialization Office. Uh, USC Aiken is our research hub for the state. Um, USC is doing a ton of research, both basic and applied. Uh, last count, I think it was like $225 million in sponsored research, 230. It's a lot of discovery. Uh, Chad Hardaway's here. Uh, he's heading up that group, and in any given time, there's a ton of technology sitting on the shelf or in the lab that, uh, that a potential entrepreneur or a small company could take a look at, uh, work in partnership with the university, try to commercialize some of that stuff. Last one is a, a group called the Start Series. It's a program run by our friends at the USC Startup Center and the Incubator. And the idea with that is very simple. Get a bunch of people together, talk about things happening in the startup space, talk about trends, get inspired, hear a good idea, right? Maybe it'll it'll jazz you up and you want to do something about it. Whoa, time is flying. Right, find some suckers. This is where we've got a lot of really cool new stuff. One million cups, obviously, we're here. This is a good place to find some partners. Startup Grind is a, a Google program that our friends at the Incubator and, and uh, USC Startup just launched last week. Last week, right? So a lot, of, another play, another breeding ground for lots of entrepreneurs. Yeah, and then you know, if, if, if you're the you're the person with the idea and you're looking for someone to help build it, you're looking for a techie or a creative. We got a couple of other groups: Tech After Five, Open Hack, 
is a, a great open source hacking community that is growing here. ITology's got a lot of technical talent flowing around there. And then our, our co-working space, SoCo, has a lot of freelance designers and developers that are always looking for new projects because they're completely bored all the time. Right. So once you, once you have an idea, you've got a team, you need to figure out how you're going to get this thing off the ground. We've got some great uh, organizations here, the South Carolina Small Business Development Center, SCORE, the SCMEP, and then uh, the Kaufman Fast Track Program that's run by our friends at Midlands Technical College. Counseling, guidance, education, planning, these groups do a lot of those things. Uh, most of them have some support from either the federal or the local government, and so part of their job is to help entrepreneurs do more stuff, right? Perfect their idea, perfect their concept. Validate. We think that One Million Cups is a great place to do this. Uh, this is why we exist, for entrepreneurs to get up here and pitch for six minutes and then get arrow shot in the back or in the front, um, right to validate some of that concept. Building and launching something. This, this one is really important because if, if you don't do it right, right, you sort of sink the ship at the beginning. Uh, we've got some fantastic resources. First of all, sort of anchored in the community here by the USC Columbia Technology Incubator. Uh, not only is it a building, but it's also a program and a bunch of services wrapped around that program to help early stage entrepreneurs take their concepts to the next level. T-6, another program that's, uh, that is uh, co-located over there at the incubator. Uh, we launched that about a year and a half ago, just finished the first class. Um, it is a seed stage mentor driven accelerator. So the, the idea is you come in with something validated and then the T-6 program wraps mentorship, access to resources, a little bit of cash infusion, and a very fast pace around the entire concept. They focus on web and mobile and software just because it's, the, the, it's a little bit easier to get those things off the ground in six months. Uh, Middle Tech Enterprise Campus, right? There's a lot more to the Enterprise Campus, but we, I wanted to put it here because they have a business accelerator and a product development center over there that not a lot of entrepreneurs know about, and it's a fantastic set of resources that if you have not been out and visited, Tom Ledbetter's here in the room, I would encourage you all to do that. USC Idea Labs, if you are doing something technology, doing something in the discovery, the research phase, they have infrastructure over at Horizon One that is geared for early stage companies that are looking to do something in the lab. Uh, we've got some fantastic startups over there. It's good stuff. You should check it out. It's beautiful space, and it continues to grow. All right, find some cash. So this is traditionally the one where we have struggled here in the Midlands a little bit. Uh, we have a number of wealthy individuals, uh, and I know I'm over my time limits. John's giving me the, the, the stink eye. Um, SE Launch has been around for almost 10 years, uh, supporting and investing in early stage companies. Uh, they have put a lot of money to work in the state, and they're doing some fantastic things, and they're now continuing to, to move up market and do some more things to support growth stage companies. Uh, a relatively new one on the list is the USC Proving Ground. Uh, it is probably the, one of the largest, I know it's the largest student-driven entrepreneurial competition in the state, uh, but the, the prize money continues to go up, so it, soon hereafter it will probably be one of the largest in the southeast. It's a fantastic program. Uh, run by our friends at the Favor Entrepreneurship Center and also supported by uh, Bill's office and the incubator as well. This year, from what I understand, they have opened it up not just to students but to recent graduates and even alums of the university. So if you're connected to the Gamecock Nation at all, you should go talk to the people at USC Proving Ground. Uh, it's a fantastic program. And if you... If you five years out. What? Recent alums. Five years, thank you. Five years. <laughs> yeah, Tom, you're up. Tom, you're up. And then finally, uh, the latest thing is a group called Capital Angels. It's run by, again, Charlie Banks. He came in and presented about a month ago. Uh, it is a professionally managed angel investor network um, based off of the UCAN model, one of the most successful ones in the country now, voted number eight in the country. Um, they just launched it. They have about 35 members. It's a very exciting group. They're starting to look at deal flow, and it is it was desperately needed in this region. So we're really excited to have Capital Angels here. And then finally, seek long-term care and feeding. Once you get this thing off the ground and you're out of your garage, you need, you need to be around other entrepreneurs. You, you need to be around other startups, other companies that are building things that will grow. Um, and we've got some, we got some good options here. Uh, first and foremost, we've got the USC Columbia Technology Incubator. If you've been over there, tons of resources, tons of entrepreneurs co-located. Big announcement last week. They've announced a new facility that will be uh, opening down in the Inavista uh, Innovation District. 
really exciting about that. Round of applause.